Meet the U.S. Catholic Bishops New Pro-Life Chair. The New Pro-Life Chair for the U.S. Catholic Bishops wants pregnant women who are struggling or feeling scared to know that they are not alone. I would like to say and, in such a heartfelt way, for them to know that they are not alone, Bishop Michael Burbage of Arlington, Virginia, told CNA hours after being elected to his new position November 16. We, as the Catholic Church, to anyone of any denomination, we will be there for you, the 65-year-old bishop added. We are willing to accompany you and provide you the support that you need, he said, listing everything from prayers and counseling to financial help and medical assistance. We are there for you every step of the way. So please don't be afraid. A longtime advocate for the unborn, Burbage was chosen as chair of the Bishops' Committee on Pro-Life Activities during the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops' annual fall assembly in Baltimore. The surprise election took place after Burbage's predecessor, Archbishop William E. Lorry of Baltimore, was elected as the bishop's new vice president. Born in 1957 in Philadelphia, Burbage entered St. Charles Borromeo Seminary after high school and was ordained a priest of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia in 1984. He later became an honorary prelate to Pope John Paul II, beginning in 1998, and was appointed the rector of his former seminary in 1999. Before coming to Arlington in 2016, he served as an Auxiliary Bishop of Philadelphia starting in 2002 and as the Bishop of Raleigh, North Carolina, beginning in 2006. His election as pro-life chair came as a surprise, Burbage revealed to CNA, emphasizing that he feels very honored. The focus of his new position will be the joy of the gospel, or reaffirming the joy that so many mothers and fathers have in bringing a child into the world, he said. That's the gospel of life to share that joy of life itself, the tremendous gift that it is, he explained. The joy of being, all of us, created in the image and likeness of God and to see each other that way. He called for building a culture of life where abortion is unthinkable. While he acknowledged what he called the harsh reality in which we are living, with misinformation and extreme proposed laws, he also stressed that the Catholic Church holds the truth, the truth that all life is sacred, it comes from God. Following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade in a ruling that free states to decide abortion policy, Burbage said that the priorities of the pro-life committee will remain consistent, with a focus on advocacy, witness, and service. He added, I never tired of doing my little part, like we all try to do, to say this, is not right. This cannot be.